We're going to begin a new series on witnessing to Muslims, uh, dealing with some of the details of Islam, things like that. However, there's something that occurred recently in the news that I thought was important on the subject of Islam to start with as a precursor to how to witness to them. <clears throat> I don't typically talk about politics, but recently uh, there was an individual, Juan Williams, who is on NPR radio, a very liberal radio program, and he's also on Fox News Channel as, as does some speaking for them. And also I want to bring up the man Bill O'Reilly who has a TV program on um, on Fox News and appeared on a view a TV show called The View uh, and I said I don't want to I don't talk about politics however some things happen in these two incidences that is very interesting to our discussion on how to witness to Muslims because there's something important here that we have to understand first when we talk to Muslims what happened with Juan Williams is that Juan Williams appeared on Bill O'Reilly's TV program earlier this week and made the statement that when he's on an airplane and he sees people that are dressed like Muslims, he is nervous. That's his feeling. I guess he has a choice. Yeah, that's a choice he has. The interesting thing, though, is that the the, T, the radio program he has on NPR fired him. And NPR fired him based on comments he made on O'Reilly's TV show about the way he gets nervous with Muslims. Uh, uh, that's point one. Point two is this. Bill O'Reilly goes on a program called The View. Again, a very left uh, program, a very liberal program. What he does is this, he gets on that program and he makes the statement that Muslims attacked us on 9-11. Now, whether that's a, a, a good statement to say in the public forum or not is not the issue we want to address here. The issue is, is that two of the people on that show got so upset and were so outraged they actually walked off the set and had to come back on and then later ended up I guess having to apologize and whatnot. But what got them upset? That's what I'd like to address. Because it's a very interesting issue that got NPR to fire Juan Williams and got these two individuals to walk off the set of their own TV program leaving Bill O'Reilly to I guess say whatever he wanted to say at that point. And the issue is this and it's something we have to understand. I first became aware of this when someone gave me an article that was from a 1985 magazine from a homosexual magazine and it was a game plan of how homosexuals would be able to be mainstreamed in society. Very interesting article, I wish I kept it. But the article had said this, that one of the things that the homosexuals had to do was to be a victim. They needed someone to attack them so they could be a victim and gain sympathy. And then their second step was to get in, use that sympathy to get into public schools and get into the public arena in politics, claiming victim status. But they needed someone that would attack them. And it was interesting because the article said they needed someone that wouldn't attack back. The reason that's important is because they decided the perfect group would be Christians. Their theory was that Christians could be, it would be plausible to argue that Christians hate homosexuals and that the Christians would not attack back, would not retaliate, because there are people that forgive. Very interesting that the article mentioned that, because that's exactly who, what Christians are, they're forgiven. Well, we see the same tactic being used by the atheists. I mean, when an atheist says that atheism is attacked in, in public schools, uh, Richard Dawkins in his book says about how uh, atheists are attacked in, in America. You know, in the public schools you can talk about God, but you can't talk about atheism. 
I don't know what school he's going to, but I think evolution is taught in school, you know, that doctrine that teaches, that is the core principle of atheism, and creationism is not allowed even though there's good science for it because, oh, they claim that's a religion. So atheism does the same ploy. Muslims are doing the same thing. They need a group that they can claim is attacking them, being intolerant of them, and they're just the little victims. They don't mean it. Now, this isn't true for all Muslims, obviously. But it is something we have to understand when we look at how our culture is responding to Islam. What we find is Juan Williams, who had no problem you know, being liberal and censoring others when it came to issues of blacks, he happens to be an African-American, it's interesting because now he's getting a taste of his own censorship. Do I agree with the censorship? Well, no, I didn't agree with it when he, when he would support whites being censored on things like that. The issue, however, is that why would they be willing to, to fire their only African-American man on the radio? It's because they came up with something that they see as a greater victim status, something they fear to speak against even more and that's Islam. And that's what our culture is facing. That's the same reason that The View, the ladies of The View, had the reaction on Bill O'Reilly when he said that Muslims attacked us on 9-11. I think it's a very clear fact that the people who flew planes into the buildings on 9-11 were all Muslim. That's a fact. It's also been documented that they did it because of their belief in Islam. Now, that doesn't mean that all Muslims are going to fly planes into buildings. However, there are certain groups of people that see themselves as martyrs. Now, there's a difference between a Christian martyr and a Muslim martyr. A Christian martyr dies at the hands of other people. A Muslim martyr dies at his own hands and takes other people with him. And we have to understand that there's a difference in those two when they're looking at the martyrs. Not every Muslim is looking to be a martyr. But the folks that Bill O'Reilly was referring to are those like the one sheikh who is saying that Muslims, Islam, is at war with America. That's not American saying that. That is a sheikh that is saying that. So when we start with a precursor to how to witness to Muslims, one thing I want you to think about and remember is that they may start with a premise that you as a Christian hate them, that you're attacking them, that you don't want to listen to what they have to say. Because that is the paradigm, that is the mindset that they're being taught with, the same as the homosexuals, the same as the atheists. And we need to remember when we talk to them. Because that becomes an essential point that we have to understand their mindset and understand where they're coming from in order to start a conversation. So we're going to start this series and starting in the next message, we're going to deal with a very core issue of how to witness to a Muslim, and that is going to be the issue of authority and how to address their authority that they rest all their belief on. Thank you very much. Now make sure that you go out and strive to make today an eternal day for the glory of God.